Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the topic raster scan display and random scan display. Let's see the introduction. This raster scan and random scan displays are the mechanism which are used to display for rendering of a picture of an object on a screen of a monitor. Means using this two displays that is raster scan and random scan display we can draw the picture on the screen but both these two displays will have different pattern they follow to draw the picture on the screen so see the main difference between that the main difference between raster scan and random scan is when the raster scan uh, draws the picture on the screen it occupy whole screen of the system but random scan will use only to the part of the screen where the picture is to be drawn it will not occupy whole screen okay raster scan will display the images which are made up of pixel so raster scan is a pixel based and random scan will use the mathematical formula or the lines okay it will make use of the lines to draw the pictures let's see it one by one in detail first is raster scan display in this the electron beam is moved across the screen it moves from top to bottom considering one row at a time as the beam of electron moves through each row its intensity is turned on or off which helps to create a pattern of spots that are illuminated what it says see this is a computer screen we have seen in the figure okay this is a scan line okay now it starts from this point left top point okay so it starts from this point and it moves like this then it reaches this then again it will go back to the second line and again it will move forward till the end of the particular row okay so it follows a zigzag pattern to draw the picture on the screen and it when it reaches at the bottom right corner then again it will move to the top left corner to draw, figure, display the second picture on the screen so in this way it will draw the picture one by one so here we have used two terms that is horizontal retrace and vertical retrace okay so what is a horizontal retrace when each scan of the line is refreshed it returns to the left side of the screen we have seen when it reaches here it again returns to the left side of the screen okay so we will call this motion as a horizontal retrace we will call this motion as a horizontal retrace now what is a vertical retrace as a particular frame ends the beam of the electron moves from left top corner of the screen to move to the another frame okay means when it reaches at the bottom it will again move to the top and again it will continue with the same process so when it moves to the top we will call it as a vertical retrace this motion is called as a vertical retrace so this is the working of raster scan display okay and the picture which is stored in the area of a memory we will call it as a frame buffer where the uh, picture definition gets stored we will call it as a frame buffer or a refresh buffer see uh, this is the image which helps you to understand how the picture actually drawn with a raster scan display it will go row by row it will go row by row and display the picture okay in this way finally we will get the whole picture to be drawn the buffer in the raster scan is that area that is responsible for containing the intensity of the various points on the screen okay the values stored in the buffer are then fetched and traced over scan lines one by one on the screen as we have seen here okay now what is the refreshing rate of this raster scan display it is the rate of 60 to 80 frames per second now let's see the advantages and disadvantages 
this raster scan display is used to produce the realistic images it can produce million different colors it can also reduce reduce it can also produce shadow scenes okay because because in this we can assign different colors to the pixels what are the disadvantages first is low resolution as it is made up of pixel it is not having the much resolution if we zoom the image it gets blur so it is having the low resolution it is quite expensive because we have to perform the operation pixel by pixel so that's why it is quite expensive let's move to the next one that is a random scan display now in this the electron beam is directed only to the part of the screen where the picture is to be drawn okay now here see the method of random scan display here it is occupying only the part of the screen where the picture needs to be drawn and finally we will get the whole picture okay we can also call it as a vector display because it makes uh, use of the mathematical formula sometimes and the image is drawn with the help of lines number of lines are needed in order to draw the image we can draw and refresh lines on the screen of a picture at any sequence we can change the sequence of drawing the picture okay so this is the electron beam we have fall here it can we can start it from this point also okay so it can change the sequence to draw the image on the screen it can also be known as vector displays stroke writing displays or calligraphic displays now to draw the picture or display it on the screen the system goes through the line or a set of commands as we have seen number of lines we need in order to draw the image on the screen now what is the refresh rate the refresh rate for this random scan display is 30 to 60 times in a second okay now let's see the advantages this cathode ray tube has a electron beam directed only to the part of the screen where the picture needs to be drawn means it will not occupy the whole screen so that is one of the main advantage of this random scan display it produces the smooth line drawings okay as it makes use of lines so the in produced image will be smooth high resolution even if we zoom the image we will have the same resolution as before disadvantages random scan monitors cannot display the realistic shade scenes we cannot create shades here because it is not made up of pixel if it is made up of pixel then only in pixel based images only we can create the shades okay so this is all about the random scan display now let's see some of the key differences between the raster scan and the random scan what is the first one in the raster scan the pixels are used to draw the image and in random scan some mathematical functions are used to draw the pictures on the screen now raster scan monitors make use of whole screen to display the object and random scan monitors use only a part of the screen where the picture needs to be drawn the resolution of random scan display is far better than the raster scan now raster scan saves the picture as a group of pixel thus it consumes more size and in random scan the picture needs to be drawn as a collection of lines okay so it occupies little space comparatively low space than the raster scan and Ran uh, random scan systems are mainly devised for line drawing applications okay but they are not able to display the naturalistic shaded scenes we cannot create shaded scenes in random scan display but in raster scan system we can create the realistic shaded scenes hope you have uh, you all have understand the raster scan display and random scan display thank you